by the time the credits roll in Avengers Endgame, we know that the status quo of the MCU is forever changed. Specifically, when we look at the Guardians of the Galaxy, that makeup, that team, is different now. We're led to believe that Thor is going to join them, but now new rumors are suggesting not so fast. The Asgardians of the Galaxy are not happening. So let's look at this realistically. If you end Avengers Endgame and you're setting up the fact that Thor is going into space with the Guardians, you're kind of building up the expectation that everybody expects to see Thor along with them. Now, I could be wrong, but maybe you're going to play around with those expectations because we don't know much about Guardians 3. We don't know when it takes place. Is it months? Is it weeks? Is it years after the events of Endgame? And in that way, I can understand why this could be true. Because let's just take a step back. Let's say, for example, Thor is out there. He's being his own man. He's trying to figure out what to do. Being his own man doesn't necessarily mean he has to be part of a team. So he could have gone away after being a guardian with them for a year. And he was like, you know what? This isn't for me. And maybe part of the story will involve them searching for him. Or maybe they're just going to make some sort of flashback. And be like, look, we had our time with Thor. It didn't work out. He's out there. We'll catch up with him at some point in the MCU. And to me, this makes a whole lot of sense because to me personally this is just my personal opinion Thor doesn't necessarily fit right into that team and the story they're setting up the story they're setting up is about the family of the Guardians the family they've become and what they're going to go through together Thor hasn't been there with them through all of this he doesn't know that there was a group that died he wasn't there he wasn't there for the rebirth he wasn't there when they saw each other get dusted He's kind of an outsider to that. So adding him puts a little bit of a fold onto the established family you had. And to me personally, I don't need him on there. I, I, you know, I would love if he was, but I can see why people are starting to believe this. And honestly, I'm gonna say he's probably not in Guardians of the Galaxy 3 as a main character. I'm gonna guess he's gonna have some sort of supporting role and maybe when things go crazy in the third act, they're like, call Thor. And then Thor shows up and they go from there. But he just doesn't, to me at least, right now, he doesn't fit how I picture the movie's gonna go with the high evolutionary and everything. I could be wrong, but it would make a whole lot more sense to me if they just kind of hold off on him and don't make him a permanent member. <laughs> 